Let me firstly summarize what we have discussed so far. MongoDB stores documents in the special BSON format. BSON document consists of key value pairs, and each value must have a type assigned to it. So, BSON stores value and its type. And before storing information in the MongoDB database, you must instruct MongoDB which type you want value to have. And these instructions are given using types syntax. Some types, such as strings, objects, arrays, and boolean, don't require any additional information you need to add to the value. So if you just use double quotes, MongoDB will understand that you want to store a string and type will be string. If you use curly braces, then MongoDB will understand that this is an object and type will be an object. Same with array and boolean. But if you want to store numbers, object IDs or dates, you must supply types information along with the value. And a very important notice. If you just want to store a number, don't expect that MongoDB will store it, for example, as a short integer. Each number, if it is supplied without any type information, will be stored as a double. The reason is simple. MongoDB uses JavaScript engine, and JavaScript does not distinguish between integer numbers and decimal numbers. It means that every number in JavaScript is a decimal number with floating point. But no worries, we will get back to this shortly. Now let's play with strings, objects, arrays and boolean types, which are most simply represented in MongoDB. Let's switch to the shell. I will switch to Robo3D and open shell. Again, you can open Mongo connection to any server you want. Give me more space and let's do following. Let's type a couple of commands purely in JavaScript. So let me create an object var obj equals. Then I will add four key value pairs here. A will be empty string, B will be empty object, C will be an array, empty array, and D will be just true. Let's close curly brace and add semicolon. On this line I will create variable named obj. It will be an object with four key value pairs. And then use print command. There is no console log command available, so just print obj and semicolon. And let's execute the script. Command enter. And you see, I'll get an object with four key value pairs. Let's then examine types of those values. I will use type of operator in JavaScript. So just type of obj dot a. So here I am accessing a property of the object obj. And let's execute it once again. Command enter. And you see in the second window that type of, of the property A is string. Let's do same with D. Remember that it is boolean and command enter. And you see here type of is boolean. Let's look at an object obj B and command enter. So it's an object obj.c, it is an array. What do we expect to see here? Also object, because arrays are objects in JavaScript. We can use another command to check if it is an array. We can use obj.c instance of array, semicolon. Array is a parent object of the obj.c or its prototype. So let's execute this. And you see it's true. 
So obj.c is an array. So to conclude what we have discussed so far, those four variable types, strings, objects, arrays and booleans don't require any specific type information when you will pass such values to the MongoDB. Very important notice. We have just looked at the value types using JavaScript. And type of and instance of are JavaScript operators. And they gave us information about JavaScript types, not Bison types. Bison types will be assigned to the values when this object will be passed to the MongoDB server. But for those types, strings, objects, arrays and booleans, types will be preserved and will match JavaScript types. Next, we will talk about Bison type identifiers, special unique numbers that are assigned to Bison types. Those numbers are stored in the Bison format along with the values. And this will allow you to query documents not just by value, but also by type. See you.